I'm in Branson, Missouri right now, and I went to a Qdoba and I ordered a surf and turf burrito. This is like the last day that I can eat whatever I want, so I kind of got to go back on my diet starting tomorrow. I'm not going to go really hard at the gym. I'm just going to get back to regularly scheduled programming. So I bought a surf and turf burrito. So this is it right here. This motherfucker cost $16 for a burrito. Now, I wasn't going to pay the 16 bucks. I was just going to say, no, thanks. I don't want it. You, you can have it. I just paid it. Um, I didn't like the person that made the burrito. It was a pregnosaur weirdo, uh, white lady, pasty face, maybe about uh, 25, four months pregnant, had an attitude problem, weird tattoo on her face, some kind of sore on her lip. I have no idea. Anyways. So I, I, attributed her attitude problem to you know her being pregnant and working a dead-end job with a loser boyfriend who's the father of this poor unborn child so i got the burrito i'm going to review it um i just didn't like the way she made the burrito she just it, it she made it like you know when you go to chipotle and then they kind of put like a little bit of effort in it it's like it was just like she just threw whatever she wanted in there it's just really lame she had an attitude problem so let's just yeah, this burrito is already crappy just because of her. Oh, let's get this over with. This burrito is dry as fuck. Oh, yeah. So this broad... Uh, she asked if I wanted sour cream, and I said, yeah, just a little bit. This bitch put, like, a cocaine line on it, like a little thin line of... I was like, you stupid. Wow. The burrito's not bad, but the dump rot put like like five little pieces of shrimp. I mean, for sixteen fucking dollars, I mean, put some shrimp on there. What is like shrimp super expensive? I know it ain't. I don't even want to rate it because she's a she was a horrible person. I don't know, I guess I give it like a 5.1. It's not a good burrito. It's dry. So is her personality. You know, listen, if you're working a shit job, and trust me, I know all about it because I've worked them all my life. You know, uh, let, let me just, let me end the video like this. Look, I'm not going to hold you guys up, but um, I want you guys to really think, especially you women, because... You know, it takes two to make a baby, but the woman has to carry the baby and and raise it. If you work at a fast food place, I don't care if your husband or your boyfriend is like a great guy. You might want to just kind of think about maybe having a baby later on after you establish yourself. Don't be having no kids and you're working at fucking Qdoba. Don't do that to yourself. Okay, I know life happens. I know, you know, we have sex and whatever. We're all born and that's usually the way the progression of life works, but um, think a little bit ahead for your future. You know, if you're working a dead-end job, don't have any kids. Don't do it. Give yourself a chance to establish yourself, go to go to school, get some kind of an education or whatever. No, I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. Keep going. Keep driving. All right, guys, I got to go. Peace out.